The back rooms. You've been here before. Entity number 40. Reverse Defecation Birds. Just as a note, this page does involve mentions of crap and defecation. If you don't like or are disturbed by those two things, I'd recommend not reading this page for your own benefit. For those who do absolutely want to read about that, please keep reading. I fucking can't believe this. Why have you all given me this to write? I've seen you buggers write about magic eldritch women in libraries, levels that final destination you, objects that are literal lightning inside jars, and what do I get? A bird that unshits itself. Great. Fucking excellent. Real funny one, you bunch of pricks. I'm going to write this well, you know, just to spite each and every one of you that made this stupid thing the first page I'm writing for this database. I'm looking at you, Maddie. Habitats. Level 9, level 11, level 69, level 172, level 200, level 230, and level 566. Image caption. One of the many instances of Entity 40. Description. Entity 40 are an extremely common, almost invasive species to the backroom's levels that it inhabits. Though birds can often be a common sight to wanderers of the backrooms, depending on various accounts and who is asked, not all birds are classified as Entity 40, with only around 33% of all avian-based backrooms inhabitants being derivate of this entity. Biology Visually, Entity 40 just resemble typical pigeons that would typically be found populating rather urban and lived-in environments of most western towns and cities. Their bodies are rather large and wide, and are undoubtedly the largest part of their structure, being rather pudgy and squishy to hold. The soft texture of their body mass is heightened by the relatively soft feathers that coat their skin, coming in various shades of grays depending on how close the feathers come to the neck or tail with both of those latter parts being in a more dark gray than the light, almost cloud or smoke gray that the body feathers are comprised of. Their wings are large and allow for bursts of prolonged, somewhat strategic flight, though often not for any longer than about 10 to 15 seconds. The feathers on these parts of the birds are the same as the body, save for a double banding of the darker gray on the tips of them. Their necks are rather flat and blubbery, and have often been considered a somewhat cute part of their anatomy because of this, and how oddly it makes the head seem scale-wise, which is something often shared with how people tend to view the bodies of these creatures. The heads, as described earlier, are rather small in comparison to everything else on their bodies bearing their feet. They contain two beady eyes and a basic, yet sharp enough, beak. This beak isn't actually used for eating, as... Eh, you know what? I'll explain all that in the next bit. Behaviors. Well, fuck. Here we go. While initially coming across as extremely basic, almost one-to-one replicas of typical birds, the rather numerous Entity 40 possesses one distinctly differential and somewhat disturbing characteristic. Entity 40 unshit themselves. Revision. Absorb crap on the ground and bring it back into their own bodies. Revision. Are known to force feces from the ground back into their own rear ends during periods of flight. Revision. Entity 40 have the somewhat unsightly and morbid ability to suddenly cause previously dropped bird excrements to quickly shoot up and become a part of them. To describe it in terms appropriate for the database's pre-chosen age demographic. How this process is done is ultimately unknown, as no extremities of both birds and excrement have shown any forms of alternate mass, composition, energy release, or anything that otherwise be out of the ordinary for birds or their stools. As well as this, the droppings, when having left on the ground, will become almost unstoppable, frictionless objects. If a cover of some description is placed over the droppings, and left until their scheduled time to rejoin with their bird, the stool will easily rip through the material it has been covered by without any change to its speed in order to meet its host. Image Caption 
a rather dangerous minefield, spotted on level 172. This effect has previously been lethal. Image caption. Check the 2017 bird dropping incident within the Meg pre-grouping archives. Which is why it is advised to exercise caution when around any form of bird excrement, as, at any point, one could swiftly be executed by droppings re-entering an Entity 40. In fact, as of 04-05-22, various droppings have been found on the floors of level 13 after the 22 13.1 incident which have frequently caused holes that rip right up all the way through level 13's upper floors and into its new sky. This event has called in the idea that these droppings are not created from birds, but instead just spawn or appear in a, str a strange form of food for Entity 40. Though, to the untrained eye, it may seem almost impossible to detect when bird droppings may rip upwards to the sky, or which droppings are the ones that can rip up into the heavens, the MEOD has answers to the first of those questions. A few seconds before the droppings are going to depart from the ground, they will often act like a magnet towards the bird in question, with any looser parts on the ground tilting or moving upwards towards the creature usually happening about 10 seconds before the process occurs. Witnesses to events like these have previously described them as something oddly terrifying, even more so than the usual standard foes that these same people have encountered before. It was just like that, the weirdest shit ever, just being in level 11 with my group of people and then just seeing a bunch of shit rise up from the ground and fall back into the back arses of these pigeons. I mean, have you ever seen that? Cause I never had up until that day. Scary shit, I tell you. David Getson, 05-01-2023 Discovery Though it has been known that these entities existed in some way, shape, or form since the discovery of Level 9 in late 2012, the actual official discovery and documentation of Entity 40 was only possible in mid-2014, when former MEG operative Jacob Gareths was successfully able to capture one of the birds using a large net taken from level 7.2. Previous ethics upheld by the MEG forbid the dissection of the creature, with it simply being given a surface inspection of how it looked when it was informally jotted down outside of the database, then set free back out into level 9. For the longest time, this one report and capturing of an Entity 40 was the only official documentation of the species. The knowledge of this entity was extremely sparse and rare, an odd mishap given the simplicity that would come with simply jotting down and documenting such a simple species. However, with the formation of the MEOD on 07-10-22, footnote, using date-slash-month-slash-year, writing about this entity came into the forefront of the organization's mind. Did it fuck? As such, on 04-11-23, the page for Entity 40 was finally created, and finally written by one Avery Lanes. Written in the most honest, professional, and clean way as one possibly can when having to make paragraphs about a bird that literally puts shit back into its anus. Do's and don'ts. Do. Stay far away from both the birds and their droppings, as a sight of one can often mean the close proximity of another, which, under rare happenstances, is possibly lethal. Don't. Stand above the droppings, as if the undefecation occurs when you are, there is a 100% mortality rate for whoever does so.